Very, very privileged to have Basenji with us today. It's good to be here. <laughs> As a, as a kid, you know, is this sort of always the, the course that you saw yourself taking or that you sort of like, that you always dreamt about or is it sort of something that you've more fallen into? Hmm. It's a bit of both, I think. Uh, it wasn't until the middle of high school that I really developed like a passion for music. Yeah. Um, like when I was super young, it wasn't really something I thought about. Um, but it, yeah, around the middle of high school, that was when I really had a passion for music, but more precisely had a passion for electronic music. Yeah. Like, I guess I did like bands and rock and stuff in the same kind of way everyone else did. Um, but it was really like uh, specific house music that fascinated me because mm -hmm. I was like, how is it that this super underground uh, Chicago music kind of took over the world? Yeah. Um, especially when at one point in time, that world, oh, that part of electronic music was particularly NAF and uh, like uh, a lot of people critiqued it and kind of marked it as a throwaway kind of fad or something yeah, but, yeah. but house music kind of captivated worldwide audiences and you know it's kind of inescapable now I mean here in, here, in Melbourne or, here in Melbourne or in Sydney like you can't go to a nightclub or a cafe mm -hmm. or even like a fucking like gelato bar without hearing <laughs> house music so it's like yeah and that was something that fascinated me was like the culture of how we consume music. Like, how is it that an underground Chicago dance music took over the world? And when I was 15 or something, that was really fascinating. And that was kind of like my like uh, first steps into electronic music. Yeah. And from there, um, I became interested in producing music. I became interested in the culture of DJing. Um, but it wasn't until much, much later that I started doing shows. That right. was maybe when I was 19, yeah. doing shows around Sydney and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, which was different because I felt like there wasn't really a place for the music I liked. Um, and also, I guess, I didn't really know what kind of music I wanted to be making. Mm -hmm. Then when I finished university at the age of 21, yeah. I was like, I'd actually really want to just pursue a career in music. Mm -hmm. And that was when I started just staring at my computer yeah. <laughs> all the time, like just committing a lot of my free time to just uh, understanding producing music um, and trying to get booked yeah and then uh, that was kind of like uh, I guess I started putting music on SoundCloud like a lot of people did four years ago yeah. five years ago and then through that I got songs on Triple J unearthed um, I found like uh, management yeah. I mean the management thing was a big step forwards because through my ma through my management I started getting uh, I got a booking agent yeah I got connected with my label Future Classic yeah so that was really I guess what got the ball rolling was working with an industry professional who could really like take you to that kind of the yeah. next step so to speak make things happen for my like career in music um, and that's basically where I am.